Bonjour. Good morning, everyone. I'm Lara Wilson. I'm the chair of the Canadian Council of Archives. Um, let me begin by acknowledging the uh, Ashnabi people on whose land we gather today. Thank you for joining us, both near and far, for this national discussion and my sincere appreciation on behalf of the Canadian Council of Archives. Ashnabi people on whose land we gather today, thank you for joining us, both near and far, for this national discussion and my sincere appreciation on behalf of the Canadian Council of Archives Board to the summit organizers, to Ian, and our many sponsors. Cut to the chase here, we are at a critical moment in the evolution of the Canadian archival system. From CCA's perspective, this is the most important discussion we have had since the founding of the CCA in 1985. Okay. So what is the CCA, for those of us who are not familiar? It is an institution-neutral body. Its mandate is to preserve and provide access to Canada's documentary heritage by improving the administration, effectiveness, and efficiency of the archival system. CCA coordinates, provides leadership, and fosters development and cooperation within the Canadian archival system by assisting and supporting member archival organizations through programs and services that ultimately benefit Canadians. This is, this is what we're all about here. CCA is a network of networks and its membership is representative of the Canadian archival community and you see the breakdown here. Our provincial and territorial councils, the Council of Provincial and Territorial Archives, ACA, AAQ, Library and Archives Canada. Much has changed, but not for the better in the majority of cases for archival institutions since the National Archival Development Program was cancelled. With limited resources throughout the system, stretched even tighter or eliminated since April 30th, 2012, CCA itself, having been up to 96% funded by NADP, is struggling to meet its mandate. But I will say that recognizing the vulnerability of this funding situation, this 96% federal funding, in 2011, CCA's board had already begun an environmental scan process and was considering an alternative future with reduced NADP funding or none at all. Potential business lines, needed products, services and resources were on the table. However, the sudden and retroactive withdrawal of NADP funding was, did not provide us with an orderly transition to, to development of own source or non-dues revenue. CCA products and services, such as archivescanada.ca, the National Union Catalog, are threatened without any associated income stream to underwrite the development and maintenance costs. Advisory services, previously available in 75% of the country, have been scaled back or eliminated some councils have been, have been successful in identifying alternate support, but many have not. The development of national standards is hamstrung. Committee work that benefits institutions and the system is presently suspended. CCA has struggled to deal with the aftermath, and I know it's very hard to tell, but I have a lot more gray hair than uh, I did 20 months ago. <laughs> but we are seeking creative ways to bridge the resource gap and we're planning for a bright future. We are guided by our mandate and strategic priorities, which are on this slide. Our current business lines are promising, but are slow growing and require startup resources. Both private and public sector resources are being sought, but partnership takes time to establish and resources are limited for CCA and its membership. But what does a bright future look like from our perspective? Well, I've got some points up here. Uh, in this bright future, CCA continues to be engaged with our committees that are developing and maintaining national standards, working collaboratively with our domestic and international colleagues, 
leading the way towards greater accessibility to Canada's documentary heritage. A bright future with CCA engaged with our partners in the heritage and related professions to address labor force development for archives across Canada and their workers. CCA working cooperatively and actively with members and stakeholders to foster an awareness and appreciation for archives, their work and their holdings. CCA offering a financially sustainable digital preservation service, operating with a institutional subscription fee and distributed governance model with a high degree of transparency, offered at a fraction of the cost of implementing and managing that infrastructure in-house while pooling resources to benefit all institutions as we do, as we believe in, even those run by volunteers. A robust national catalog, Archives Canada 2.0, supported by appropriate resources and ensuring broad participation across the system. Provision of a sustainable research referral service, increasing access to holdings in Canada and minimizing the limited public service resources available in archives. Provision of bilingual national advisory services through a virtual network of professional advisors to give professional advice to archives that need it and to help build their, their sustainability. Continued representation of the community on matters of shared concern, such as copyright. CCA development of content for webinars and other sharing opportunities delivered through provincial and territorial councils, fostering their relationship with archival colleagues and reinforcing national standards and best practices and supporting local collaboration. This is all perceived to be possible in an ideal world, but right now the world is challenging for our organization and our membership. We are at a crossroads with regards to transitioning to profitable and sustainable activities. CCA believes that archives are offered as a free service for stakeholders and the public. Archives are meant to be accessed by all Canadians of all ages without discrimination or barriers. On the service, the argument for access fees is colossal, but the argument is outweighed by the belief that access to information without barriers is a fundamental right in a free nation. Archives operate independently, but at the mercy of their community's financial health and the sponsor organization's sustainable day-to-day -day administration. Archives are always at the mercy of the goodwill, or maybe not goodwill, of their sponsor organization and its many competing pressures. Now in the midst of austerity, offering free digital access to our greatest asset, information, from coast to coast to coast through an open, inclusive, and reliable information gateway for all Canadians will be nearly impossible to achieve without collaborative efforts that I have outlined through CCA or a similar entity. Have we waited too long? Has, are we, is all hope gone? Absolutely, you know, no, no. But this is the time for us to work closely together again. And this is the moment for us to work openly, collaboratively and sincerely to ensure the sustainable archival system. Thank you.